Nothing feels better than winning when people are patiently waiting to see you fail. Dan, you've lost a million followers in the last 12 months, seen your stock price. Damn! That is how many subscribers I got. I got a thousand, a hundred thousand twenty-four. Wait, I need to go back to school. I don't know math. It's plummet so low you had to take it off the stock exchange and now spend the rest of your time copying Andrew Tate. Yeah, we're going to start a website called uh, Sigma Society. While rambling about... What in the... This is basically the definition of failure and... I want a booster box of Scarlet and Violet. Kiki, we're reacting right now. Hey, but uh, go ahead and buy it at rogerrips.com. W plug. We'll rip it whenever you like if you want to buy it from me. Here's exactly how it happened. Dan Bilzerian took his company Ignite Pub. Wait, y'all actually fucked with Dan Bilzerian? I, I remember I used to follow him when I was like in high school. And I just liked the, uh, the hot chicks he would post. At a price of $2.50 per share back in January 2019, a time at which his career was going perfectly. His Instagram was gaining $400,000 per month. He was living in a $65 million Wait, mansion. Wait, is that the Clout House? Was that the Clout House chat? That his lifestyle was real. That would be until July 2020, 18 months after Ignite started, when Dan fired Ignite's vice president. Ignite? What the fuck is Ignite? I've never heard of it. In the process, completely exposing his phony business. Ooh, if I was right there, I'd slap the shit out of her hand. Put that shit down! You should not be doing that. L vape, L vape. Model. For starters, the lawsuit explained that Dan Bilzerian hadn't actually paid $65 million for his mansion, but the property was rather rented for $2.4 million per year. Wait, that's that's comp renting a place and then just flexing it like you own it. That is uh, that, that is actually a W strategy. Can you blame him? That is a W strategy. Bilzerian paid for the travel expenses of the rotating cast of models that permanently accompany Bilzerian wherever he goes, despite Dan consistently stating that the girls were there voluntarily. Do you pay these girls to come? No. No. That's, okay, so that's the big I, misconception. Yeah, I'm right? addressing that on my app. However, the craziest. Oh, you know he paid for. Him. I'm just kidding. I don't know. Dan's strange expenses, including seventy-five thousand on a paintball field, forty thousand on a rock climbing wall, sixty thousand on a Star Wars gun set, thirty-one thousand on pool renovations, fifty thousand on a bed frame, so thousand on a ping pong table, and eighty-eight what the fuck? on a vault, just to name a few. Why don't you spend that at rogerrips.com instead of spending it on all shit you don't really need? W plug. It was also stated that some business expenses charged to Ignite were for household items, groceries, and luxury <laughs> yacht rentals, with a different former employee stating Ignite pays for everything. Models, events, yachts. Dan would just have it wrapped with the Ignite logo, and all of a sudden it was an Ignite expense, and he would send them the bill. Pools, trampolines, the employee added. His personal events that had nothing to do with the business. Dan responded. But that's literally how businesses do it nowadays. Why are we hating on A? Hey, I don't really know who Dan is, really. Responded by stating, Some journalist said Ignite was funding my life. Bitch, I've been going hard for 10 years and been famous for going hard for 7. I started Ignite 2 years ago, raised around 100 mil, and I own the majority of the company, suck my dick. Although his arrogant response failed to dismiss anything, especially the company's atrocious financial reports. Dan had spent a total of $69 million during Ignite's first year in business, which was offset by only $9.7 million in sales. Given Damn! The previously mentioned lawsuit, explained how terribly this money was spent Ign wait that sounds like uh roger rips incorporated yeah we're going bankrupt <laughs> stock price plummeted by almost 90 percent from two dollars fifty to a low of 28 cents in october 2020 as the media damn my guy's down bad he'd respond by stating uber is worth 80 billion it has never had a profitable month since it started and it lost over five billion in one quarter last year However, all right the financial losses weren't even the worst part ignite only had an audience because of whoa whoa imagine Whoa, uh, uh, is that alcohol? Yo, fuck the jet. Give me this. <laughs> We're alcoholics. All right. So Dan's extravagant life, which as a result of the lawsuit had been exposed as rented. His lifestyle was once mysterious. He's playing chess. 
play Fortnite, buddy. <laughs> Intriguing, but it lost its edge as soon as people realized it was just another business. On top of this, the whole mega rich guy on Instagram shtick was cool in 2014, but by 2020, everybody knew it was complete baloney, which began to reflect in Dan's Instagram statistics. In May 2020, Dan almost completely stopped posting to Instagram, and by the end of the year, he'd begun to lose followers. In the meantime, the media speculated that he'd soon fall for bankruptcy, to which Dan clapped back by tweeting a skeleton with the caption, or the dumbass journalist patiently waiting for Ignite to go bankrupt. Dan was right, Ignite wasn't filing for bankruptcy, but that didn't mean that things were going well. After losing 69 million in 2019, Ignite lost a further 9... Bro is Giga Chad. What in the... 7 million in 2020, during which the media released another strange detail. Dan Bilzerian's dad was supposedly running Ignite from behind the scenes. Now, this was a problem for one main reason. Paul Bilzerian was a convicted felon who was illegally prohibited from participating in publicly traded companies. He'd spent a year in jail for fraud in the 90s, leading Dan to pretend that they weren't that close. I talked to him um, probably four or five times a year. However, according to one article, Paul Bilzerian has taken a less shadow role within the company, sending thousands of emails between himself and other top executives at Ignite. This what? was only speculation at the time, but Wait. That's his dad? If Paul was in fact running the company, he was starting to do something right. Despite losing 19.7 million in 2020, Ignite actually recorded a profit in their final quarter, leading Dan to tweet, Ignite announces a profitable fourth quarter. I guess the press and the dumb YouTubers were wrong, shocking, the reason for which being explained in a Forbes article. For one, Ignite cut costs, slashing a promotion. Ignite cut costs? Maybe because you stopped posting, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Emotional budget by nearly 75%. Pandemics meant fewer parties, and for Ignite, that meant a chance at profit. As economic conditions improved in early 2021, the price of Dan's stock began to recover rapidly, quadrupling from 28 cents per share in October 2020. Damn, he made the biggest comeback. Only one year later. In the process, he was cranking 90s all day, every day. It's revenue from 16.9 million in 2020 to 78. 8.8 million in 2021 at which point dan made the claim that he wanted to sell the company two billion would be nice because then i get over a billion however the two billion would be nice motherfucker eating out would be nice i eat top ramen every day motherfucker no no really i my son i eat half of my son's top ramen i said it chance of achieving this kind of money began to look unlikely as the value of Dan's company began to fall off a cliff. The recovery made by Dan in 2021 was completely reversed throughout 2022, owed in part to one Bro has the chin of a Greek god. Vape. Water. Stop glazing, motherfucker! Particular incident. The Glaze! Brands LTD for failing to produce documents as it attempts to pursue an accounting fraud investigation. According to the SEC case, SEC staff have uncovered information indicating that respondents may have filed public financial statements that include false or misleading representations regarding revenues earned and recognized in the company's fiscal year ending December 1st, 2020. On top of potentially falsifying what did he say? The suit also revealed that Ignite was under criminal investigation for something unrelated. As a result, the stock was headed toward a guys hey i don't really know what they're saying but guys whenever you start something think long term and do the shit right don't be shady businessmen do shit right pay your taxes do everything man make sure you do things right because at the end of the day you're gonna work your ass off just so it could all come crumbling down because you did it wrong make sure you guys do shit right a new record low. However, Dan was able to fix this problem by removing Ignite from the stock exchange altogether. He provided no explanation for the company's removal. However, just two months later, media publication MJ Biz Daily oh, no. managed to interview Dan Bilzerian's dad, who said he is oh, now no. serving as an unpaid advisor to his son's company and was speaking on behalf of Ignite because Dan was unavailable to comment. Oh, state, no. There is no reason to have a public company unless you intend to raise capital from public markets 
Before going on to state, though Ignite was publicly traded, about 90% of the company's shares are owned by Dan and friends. Damn. Dan likely thought that as a public figure, he should have a public company. Although this structure provided no real benefit and instead delivered unwanted attention from Why are the feds after Dan Blazerian's one-time marijuana company? Governing bodies and the what? Media. Despite this, it was reported in March... It was a marijuana com company? ...that Dan was still refusing to cooperate with governing bodies. And while Ignite's privatization means its income is no longer public, it doesn't really seem as though business has improved. Dan recently bragged on Ignite's Instagram by stating... Best oh, Ignite? Dude, this whole video, I didn't know what Ignite was. Damn, I need to lock in. It's a vape company? Selling vapes in South America. Although the very top comment was, bro, I love you, but I never seen anyone smoking. Why do why do I feel like this is Rick? <laughs> this is literally Rick. Daniel, is this what you go by on Instagram, Rick? You little hater. That. Ignite's Twitter page gets about 30 likes per post. The company's official TikTok page has under 4,000 followers. While Dan Bilzerian's personal social media isn't... Wait, linked. wait. How many fo... Damn, he fell off. <laughs> 3,000? Damn, he fell off, chat. 4, followers. That's going to be me in a couple years. <laughs> While Dan Bilzerian's personal social media isn't looking so healthy either. His main Instagram page is losing 100,000 followers per month. Odin Rick off the perk. I agree. Part to his complete inactivity, only uploading every once in a blue moon. When he does post... Yeah, you can't be uploading once in a blue moon, my guy. You got to upload consistently like I'm doing here. I'm just uploading... Uh, consistently streaming consistently at Roger Rips on YouTube. W plug. One of the most popular comments state, so sad you have to pay for having ladies around you. Ha ha. So sad you have to pay for having ladies around you. That is messed up, dude. That is so messed up. And then he has no picture. How can you hate and then be pro like, show yourself, motherfucker. Uh, lol, such a sad. Lol, such a sad life. Matthew. I'm going to be honest, chat, I remember living a sad life, being a bum on the couch every day on my phone, and I still wouldn't be, a, I'd never hated on anybody commenting, so that means these people that be commenting and hating must be even lower than I was at, at that point, I never hated on anybody, that is crazy, chat life and I don't know why I still follow this dude. In January 2021, Bilzerian was asked, Dan, why are you barely active over Instagram recently? To which he'd respond with, because I just finished the 25th edit of my book. It's finally done. Yet Dan failed to return to Instagram. What in the? After the book's no one read this, bruh. I'm so late. Wait, forward by David Goggins. How much did you pay David Goggins to forward your book, bro? How much you pay for him? Shout out to David Goggins, man. Who's going to carry the boats, chat? However, only a couple of months ago on the Skinny Confidential podcast, Dan gave an updated explanation for why he'd quit everything. I just don't care. Like, I feel like social media is like a video game I beat like eight years ago. And I'm like, everybody's playing the same game. I'm like tired of playing it. Like, I Hey, man. I'm playing that social media game. Stop shitting on me, bro. It's hurting my feelings. Look at social media like a cancer. Like, to me, I think it's the worst thing to be happening to society. So, Bro! What the? Stop shitting on my profession. I just, like, it, it just cringe to perpetuate that. Don't cringe, bro. Please don't cringe. Uh, Please don't cringe at my profession. Thank you. Problem. Dan seems quite resentful over his... Stop playing chess. Hop on Fortnite, brother. Chess is something old people do. Let's play some Fortnite, my guy. <laughs> ...social media career and is perhaps sick of being hated. However, I can't imagine his next venture will make that any better. He ain't, he ain't even talking to nobody. A bit too much time with Andrew Tate. Dem Wait. Aaron is working on his own alpha male course and... Sigma Society? What? Ah, oh, what the... ...website called Sigma Society. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, I need to join. ...right now is a site where it's basically going to, like, teach guys kind of, like, Sigma. how... With that, yeah, Sigma. yeah, it's gonna like teach guys how to be guys, you know. I feel like the, the, this generation has kind of like lost that. And while such a wait, why do I feel like he's talking about me? Would surely find an audience. It feels like a last ditch. Why, on a why do I feel like he's talking about me, chat? Almost always a sign of having nothing left to offer. Damn. Uh, I don't know what I just reacted to. Like, comment, subscribe. Uh, don't do shady business.